morning everybody Christmas week here we are in Nashville Monday morning it is 8 30 in the morning I gotta drive Ugh, back of trash on the goddamn road we gotta drive uh, about two and a half hours do our pickup and sorry Brownsville Tennessee guys and that's gonna go to Jefferson's Jeffersonville South Carolina
we'll see you when we get a little bit closer.
probably still high in Pennsylvania though. Shit's always high there. That's why nobody likes doing those Millington or what was it Wellington, Tennessee here, just outside of Memphis. I do them, but man, I'm starting to realize they're not worth it. When they go up to New Britain, uh, Connecticut, and uh, once you get out of Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, and Connecticut, that fuel is outrageous, man, but you don't have enough because of the weight. You can't fill up both tanks. So you got to get fuel in one of those states. See what I'm saying?
all the male versions of Karen. Unbelievable. Need to check your trail. I opened up the door. Could you please stand back six feet? Meanwhile, he looks like he's got straight out fucking age, you know? Get the hell out of here. turns into 600 miles, right? Unbelievable. 540, 74, oh yeah, they got it right. The trip would be 20 miles, but what are you going to do? I-24, 24, Atlanta, yeah, we got to go through Atlanta, and get on 20, 20, 20, 20, down to exit 51. They'd be down there on the left. And probably 
probably no place to park around there, right? My destination is in Loves. Petro, Columbia, Flying J. I don't know, we'll figure that out tomorrow. Gotta get loaded first, but uh, I'll be back as soon as we get out of here, guys. We are loaded. It took two hours. It's 2.30 here. And I'm just going to go up to Cartersville, park there for the night, and drive to rest tomorrow. Um, let's see. Cartersville is... Uh, come on, baby. Get up here. Cartersville. Cartersville. Cartersville, Cartersville. Huh. What the hell is it, Cartersville? Cartersville, pilot, no. Huh. Don't worry. I don't know. I guess we're too far out of the way, but be a couple hours before we get up there. And uh, that way I don't gotta deal with parking dealing with a lot of traffic at that time and uh, get up and do the rest in the morning. Uh, not as heavy as we thought. I thought it was going to be 41,000 plus pounds. Turns out it is only 25. 25,012 pounds. So that's a good thing. I uh, don't know what we're hauling. Uh, it looks like some some type of beef, but I don't want to say that. Frozen, oh, frozen vegetables. Frozen, fro, fro, ta -da -da -da. frozen, frozen veggies, guys. Now we got to deal with the security Nazi here. Let's see what this guy does. Check the seal. Don't worry, buddy. I'm six feet behind. You're not going to catch the ick. And hey, I have no problem with him acting. Well, I have no problem with him being concerned, but don't overdo it, you know? Unless he's caught it already. I could be jumping to conclusions. Maybe he's recovering from the corona. What the hell do I know? I'm sitting here making fun of the guy. It's a light load, boy. Damn foot is trying to act stupid again. I just gotta make it to the first, man. My health insurance kicks in. Go to a real foot doctor instead of this damn guy in his clinic. That's a little tough to get out of here, huh? Oh, there's a turning lane I can turn in. So 
apparently the shortest way to go is 40 back down to 24 up to 75 you can go through Knoxville and jump on 26 up there to 20 but it adds about 40 minutes and 35 miles I just go the regular way, I guess. Come on, man, Jesus. And the pallets are stacked low, so we don't gotta worry about them tipping over. So it should be a nice, easy unload on Wednesday. But it's still, it's U.S. food, so it's going to take a little while. We'll be there a couple hours, guarantee it. And I cannot get the air right in this truck, boy. One little pubic hair of a notch, man, makes a difference. It'll go from cold to hot. Hill Elementary. Speed limit reduced ahead. Well, Brad's eight in school today. In half a mile, turn left onto I-40 East toward Nashville. If I gotta work, they should be in school. So we'll see you guys when we get closer to stopping tonight. Uh, probably gonna be Cartersville. Somewhere in that area. And uh, get up and do it all tomorrow. So, we'll see you later. morning everybody we are down here in Manchester Tennessee never made it as far as I thought last night um, there was a wreck up on the interstate going towards Mont Eagle, which is where we'll be here in about 20 minutes, and uh, I didn't want to deal with that, have plenty of time to get to the delivery today for tomorrow morning, so we shut her down here in Manchester, and uh, got about six hours to drive today. Once we 
get about halfway there, I can start to see where the uh, truck stops are parking for the night. Pretty sure they don't allow overnight parking there at U.S. Foods. Plus, I don't like doing that anyway. My stomach acts stupid, and I go to the bathroom, then you gotta worry about going to the bathroom. But we gotta be there at 6 a.m., so.
gone right through there, but uh, we can only cross our fingers and hope. But it's still a couple hours away, so. station they're coming down the hill it's not that coming down the mountain it's not that bad of a mountain at all uh, you do pick up some speed though so you got to be careful but nothing like the one that the uh, truck driver killed those people on in Colorado nothing like that here on the left. It's only going this way though. If you come back the other way out of Chattanooga. I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad. But uh, they don't have any one or eight ramps on that side.
thing about my truck is when I use the engine brake or jake brakes, my brake lights come on. There's the runaway ramp right there. Alright, good morning guys. Let's go make this delivery at US Foods. Loves last night. Uh, I stopped here at exit 44, and the Loves um, is at the same exit as the delivery. And it was like 4:30 in the afternoon. Travel Center restaurant coming soon, huh? So, uh. It was 4:30 in the after, in, in, you know, in the evening when I was up this way, and I didn't want to take a chance of uh, hold on a minute. I didn't want to take a chance of uh, that loves being full. So I stopped here. They had a restaurant in there, but just like everywhere else, the lady closed early. She closed at 6 o'clock, so. Turn at the first left onto I 20 East toward Columbia. By the time I got done playing around and talking to the family and everything else, she had a closed, so. We had ordered something from Burger King, had it delivered, and then. Relaxed a little bit and went to bed. Now it's 5.20 in the morning. We'll be there at 6 o'clock. We'll, well, we'll be there before 6 o'clock. Uh, see how my neck goes today, man. It feels better now. I took some aspirin before I went to bed. To. I, I don't know where it was. I'm pretty sure it was the U.S. Foods, though. And uh, you check in, and they tell you to go to any door in between this number range. And you talk about a clusterfuck, man. Drivers cutting drivers off, and what a nightmare. Thank God this isn't that place, though. No idea where that's at. Texas, maybe? No. Might be in North... It's somewhere. Virginia, North Carolina. Well, just like always, there's a friggin' problem with this company. Turn at the first left onto I-20 toward Columbia. Or these brokers. They tell me to be here at 6 a.m. Yet they don't set an appointment. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go into this loves here and make some phone calls. By the time we left, that line was mad deep. Should be parking here. 
water this time of the damn day. some work I'm kind of worried because they know I got to be home on Friday and I'll end up getting screwed you know Jack, and they're like, you don't have an appointment. There's no appointment associated with this PL number. I'm like, but I was told 6 a.m. And uh, she typed that number in about five times, and it came back, no appointment, no appointment, no appointment. So I go over to the Loves, which is right on the other side of the interstate. And uh, at that point, I think it's 6.30. And uh, I call my job. I call C.H. Robinson, and uh, C.H. Robinson, after hours at that place is useless, man. Why are they even there? I have no idea, because they can't do a damn thing. So, she said she was going to send the information over to the people. Uh, 10 o'clock, I still haven't heard nothing. 11 o'clock, nothing. 
11.15, I get a call from work. They're like, hey, the, the, the issue's been resolved. There was a purchase order number mistake. Go check back in. I get over here. The guy tells me, your appointment's for Monday at 6 a.m. I'm like, son of a gun, man. So they finally got the shit straightened out. I just got into the dock, and it's noon. <laughs> Six hours wasted. Supposed to have a 10 hour, 10 o'clock pickup, a 10 a.m. pickup, which is two hours and 20 minutes from here, so I'm not gonna make that. Hopefully, I can get out of here in an hour, which I doubt because the place I'm picking up at goes home at 3 30. They don't care if you're late because I was late the last time. Same situation, one of these food places held me up. No, but they do go home at 3.30, so it's going to be a tight one. But that's how my day is going. I hope you guys are doing better. Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, we'll see you after Christmas. I do got a delivery on Monday. Picking up in Arkansas. Coming back up here to South Carolina or North Carolina. It's one of these two places. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I might make a video, uh, if I don't make one on this next pickup, it'll be after Christmas, so, Merry Christmas, if I don't see you then, all that good shit, we'll see you next time, bye.